Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by Nadula Hair. And today I'm gonna to be showing you their loose deep wave wig. This one is a 13 by four lace front, 150% in density and it's 24 inches. Shinna does come with your standard cap construction of two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable strap. And that is what the lace area is looking like. And the Shinna does come with a pre-plugged hairline. So this is what the unit is looking like after it has been washed and air dried. I still feel like it has a good amount of waves left to it. They did not leave completely, which I am happy about. Now, as far as the cap size on this, this is an average cap size. It fits me pretty okay. I'm not gonna have to cut into the frontal when it is time to cut the lace off, just a little bit of it off the side. I also did go in and pluck out a little bit more around the hairline, just to make it look a little bit more natural. I'm just gonna work on cutting off the lace. This is their Swiss brown lace. So I did not have to go in and add any tint spray because I felt like the lace pretty much looked good and I already had a feeling it was going to blend in well. Now for today, I am gonna be using my Got To Be High Insta Hole Spray. I ended up spraying too much on that one side, which y'all will see once it dries down, it's gonna start to flake, but I'm gonna end up fixing that up. And I'm just spraying a little bit on top of the lace and then of course on the sides, I'm spraying it underneath the lace. That way I can make sure that it is enough adhesive to dry down and not lift up. I'm gonna be adding some baby hairs to this unit because I already know how I pretty much want it to be styled and I feel like baby hairs is just going to set it off. Of course, if you are not a fan of baby hairs, you can definitely skip this step if they are not for you. I'm gonna be using my Eco Styler to mold those hairs and swoop them over and then I am going to give this unit a middle part. Of course, it's only a 13 by four, so you get most of your parting space in the middle and then it shortens up on the side. I'm gonna be adding my wax stick at the top also, just to kind of flatten everything out, even though the frontal area does not have a lot of density, so I don't think you're gonna have to worry about it puffing up on you. Thankfully, my baby hairs acted right, especially with me using that got to be gel. I did not have to go in and add any more product or re swoop them over. I'm happy that it did not do that because I did not want it to start flaking up. Now, I am pulling out my deep waver. It has been a minute since you guys have seen me pull this thing out. I usually just stick to wand curls because it's usually how I like to wear my hair, but I wanted a nice little wavy look. So I'm just sectioning it off and I am adding a little bit of that high insta hole spray just to kind of keep the waves in place because this hair was very soft and I did not want the waves to drop quick. If you have made it this far into the video and you are liking what you see, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed already, please make sure to turn those notifications on because you don't wanna miss out on any of my videos. Now these waves definitely did not come out super perfect because I did not go in and section them the way that I should have, but they came out good enough. Now, if you are interested in any of the products that I am using, all of them will be listed down below in the description area.
Now, so far they are looking really good. I did have to go in and fix some areas and I went ahead and waved the rest off of camera just to kind of bypass some time. Now I am adding a little bit of my Ruby Kisses powder in between the parting space area and also a little around the hairline. Now I did go in and bleach my knots. The knots were pretty small, but of course I wanted a scalp-like appearance. So therefore that's why I went ahead and bleached them. I'm also adding a little bit of serum and kind of picking the waves apart. Maybe I should have left them alone. I don't know. I feel like they just looked a little bit too perfect. So I wanted to kind of, you know, run my fingers through them just a little bit. So the waves did come out looking really cute, especially because I did not take my time on them for a quick job. I feel like they look really good and they held up very well. Also, the texture of this helped it come to life even more. And I'm happy that after I washed it, they did not drop. Now, once again, I'm rocking the 24 inch. This does start at 14 and it goes up to 26. As far as the hairline goes, like I said, it comes pre-plucked already. However, I went in and did a little bit extra and the parting space is on point. I'm happy that the knots were not huge because I didn't have any issues with bleaching them. I did notice a very small amount of shedding and then also you definitely want to make sure you add some serum to help control some of the frizziness. Now what you guys think about this wavy look, if you are feeling it, I'll make sure to leave all the details down below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.